What is going on? It's been a hot minute. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. SX Mini has been around for a long time long time everybody knows their q mini q class the the, the fidget spinner jammy the, the, the regular q class they've done the ml the mx the m class a lot of different devices and there's a lot of yeehee or sx mini fanboys out there or necessarily fangirls it doesn't really matter you get the saying i was never a die hard fan of them not just because i like dna's it's just i don't I didn't like their chip. I don't like that you can't see the hit count. That was always a huge thing for me. And, well, it just wasn't as easy to navigate as something like the DNA. However, there's a lot of controversy around whether or not this has more accurate temperature control than the DNA does. You have to keep in mind that when SX Mini was founded, they were actually founded by making clones of the Hanamod. That's what started SX Mini to be who they are today. Literally, on the last video that I did for them, I lost a lot of hope. I thought, it's the end of the road. This is them on their way out trying to save face and sell a bunch of gimmity ass gimmity. That's that's when you give me the gimmick. Some gimmity gimmick gimmity Woo! That is rough! Some gimmity gs That's not it. Some gimmick titty. Liddy like a titty. Um G gimmick gimmick -t. The device I'm thinking about has a lot of gimmicks. Fidget spinners on the top, fidget spinners for the wheel. Absolutely ridiculous. And Yee or SX Mini is a company that actually fears me. They don't want me to do their product reviews. They will do everything in their power to try to get a company that's selling their products to not sell it to me, which is kind of ridiculous. I mean, it, I get it that you don't want to hear negative shit. I get it that you think your device is perfect and you, I don't want to ruin it because I don't want you to believe or think that this product is going to be absolutely garbage. Let me just flip it and show you what's on the inside. Let's flip it. So what we're looking at is the Yeehee SX Mini SL class. Uh, really nothing on the top sides and on the flip side of the box, it's just going to tell you everything that's included inside of it. I apologize in advance, it also comes with this lovely little Louis Vuitton gift bag. Anytime you buy an SX Mini device, it should come in some type of little pouch like this. It has really nice thick shoelaces that you would find on a pair of high-tech boots. You know, maybe your favorite Kmart jammies. That's even if you shop at Kmart anymore. I don't think anybody shops at Kmart because they're out of business. Looking at this aglet here, you see that it is kind of burnt around it, sort of hold it in place. What they did with theirs is instead of burning it in place they just kind of started and said ah fuck it let's finish up the bag because this is the biggest hoopty aglet i've ever seen give you a better reference this is some type of wick apparatus kind of looks like a blow dart on the bottom upc color configuration right here carbon fiber that's not the actual mod that's the sleeve that goes around the battery section sad panda there is no scratch and sniff anywhere on this box really letting us down guys you're just gonna have to scratch the plastic and lick that and tell me what that tastes like just like all the other sx mini devices those same presentation that has the same presentation this has up here on the corner funny enough is their little qc pass on the inside of the box i've never seen that before Maybe I've never looked for it. Here is the envelope, and then inside the envelope, you're going to get a little couple pieces of informational reading poop material. If your batteries look like that, make sure that you rewrap them or just buy a new battery. On first inspection, most people would think that SX actually started the whole Bluetooth thing. Check this out. You'd be wrong. The first company to come out with Bluetooth would actually be the Smoke BT-50. What was so unique with it is every time you vaped, as long as it was hooked up to Bluetooth, it would ping a map. And then you can go on the map in the app and then see where exactly you've hit it. 
and how many times you've hit it, and even where you traveled with it. It's very, very advanced for what it was, and it was a single 18650, but no quick access to the battery, you had to take out the screws. Anyway, long story short, this has Bluetooth. The Bluetooth that's in this is nothing like that. This is more for logging purposes and a couple little updates. SX Mini's Bluetooth app, their whole thing is very, very glitchy. You go to update the firmware, update the wallpaper, it takes 48 minutes, and at that time you're fiending, so you pick up your mod, out of excitement to vape it, but you can't get past the blue screen because you're too busy trying to update the wallpaper. No good. Warranty card. Oh, my best friend with the SX Mini. This company hails themselves as a high-end company. The problem you have with this company specifically is a lot of the warranty things that may go wrong with this are gonna fall on user error. Meaning that if the chip stops working, Yeehee is gonna tell you that's because you drank a Coca-Cola by it. Not that you spilled Coca-Cola on it, it's just that it was by a can of soda. Now you know why they don't want me to review their products. Okay. Then a user manual, okay. I actually had to read this because I could not figure out how in the hell you were supposed to do certain adjustments on the menu. A lot of people are talking about this mod, man. A lot of people, man. USB cable. Update the firmware, maybe charge it. It's gonna say SX Mini on it. Yep, there it is. Right off the jump, I think a flash bang. Not flash dance, flash bang. Like a sound popper, you know, you throw it, bop, boom, you can't hear, you can't see. That's what I get out of this. This bothers me so much. Right here, what is this? And over here, what is this? What is this right here? You think it would just be one side, right? you'd be very much wrong. There it is again, right here and right here. It's not a big deal, Jay, it's just aesthetics. Well, guess what? It's a big deal to me because I don't want my shit looking like it's oxidizing right out of the box, especially when it comes to a high-end device like this. Let me not digress. So let's just move forward with what we got. So we have some really nasty pitting on the top and the bottom, left and right sides. Fire button, typical. And this is one of the reasons why I hate SX. You have this little joystick down here where you feel like you're playing fucking Pong. Like you you, you left, up, you hold it, you, you do tricks, and then you're able to access certain parts of the menu and then modify them in such a way. I much prefer the traditional way of just having buttons. However, utilizing a joystick like this the way that they do lets them really slim down the mod and make it a lot thinner than what it should be. I really wish DNA would make some kind of mod like this because I really like the way that this feels. Let's see what fits on the top. I have a feeling 26 is going to be no problem at all. 28 will probably go right to the edge. As you can tell that it can't even stand up on its own. So basically you got the drunken mod. 28 millimeter goes literally right to the edge of the 510. Single battery. So you're not going to really want to put anything really super low on this. You do have different battery configurations though. 18650, 2700, and 21700. I mean, there's really not a whole lot. This is not a sticker. That's probably plastic that has the appearance of being some type of carbon fiber weave. As you can tell that this is just absolutely filthy. They didn't give me a cleaning rag either. Not a fan of the way that this looks coming from a high-end company. Like, what is that? Jesus Christ, you get it together. They must have lost their mission statement. Yup. But this gives that same appearance of what the edges of this does. Guys, I know it's not a big deal, but it is to me. Attention to detail. If you have shit like this on the side of your mod, what does that tell you about the care that they had when they were making this? 20. Well, Every fucking time. I can't make this shit up. I can't make it up, man. It's right there in front of you. Let's see what the manual says, because either someone lied to me, or I don't know how to read properly. I'm gonna go with someone lied to me. Uh, we're gonna go with Yeehee lying to me. Take a look at what that says right there. Tell me what that says. Actually, let's read it together. It is a single 18650 2721. 700 battery device. If this is 21700 compatible, why in the fuck can't I fit a 21700 inside of it? You see that it says 2107, or that, no, that's, it doesn't say 2107, it says 21700. It doesn't go in. I feel that if I push that anymore, it's gonna destroy the casing of that battery. We're gonna go crazy here. I'm just gonna force it in. 
the Samsung has no problem going. I mean, that you see, that's literally, and that's a 21700, but you go over here to this eye joy. You can, it's catching on something. Listen. Guys, I, I don't, I do not feel safe putting that in there at all. They give you this little piece of paper in here because what they're saying is, hey man, when you use our device, your batteries are gonna look like this. Good stuff, man. Sig, not fine. No, I don't need that. Um, guys, listen, I'm not making this shit up. Like, I'm not, I can't make this up. You see that little piece of shit right here? That's what's catching on the batteries. So if you own some type of file, even if you don't file that down and you don't have a problem with that, the last thing you need to do is as you're trying to extract the battery out, it catches on that and fucks up the whole side wall of the battery. I, I, it kind of, that kind of saddens me a little bit. You would think that Yeehee, especially considering that they're putting a QC pass on the manual and on the box itself, that they checked this before they sent it out. But I guess they didn't and they're just, oh, let's just, hey, Sunshine Lou, put a fucking sticker on there. Send it over. They got it. They're good to go. Yeah. And you know what? If I was you too as well, SX Mini, I'd be very reluctant to send this to people that are honest about your devices. That's a 2700. Got lots of room in there. And this just threads on. Sound like someone was eating fucking potato chips. Five clicks, turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. Hold the button to the left. Bring it to novice. Hold it again. Once you're a novice, all you can do is adjust the wattage. So you press down, then you press up to adjust it up, and it does not round robin. If you press it up on any screen, that's going to show the brightness of the screen. I don't know why it's not showing that. Well, that, that was weird. Um, there's nothing on the screen showing you that that's what's going on. Let's bring it over to advanced and see there. So now we're in advanced mode. Press up. And then there is your brightness right there. I, it's very difficult to see. Let me see if I get you in there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, there we go. We're just going to have to keep it low so it's very easy to read. And that is everything on the screen. Doesn't look bad at all. You got your wattage up here. Joule, resistant, voltage, memory function here. SL, I guess, is just for the mod itself. To access the menu outside of the actual menu of the main screen, it's going to be five clicks at a fire button. One, two, three, four, five. All you're going to get at this point is system off, manual TCR, temperature coefficient Z rating, and then standby time. It goes down as low as 10 seconds. Keep in mind, pressing this button, it, it sucks. It really, really, really sucks, donkey dick. Like, this is not... You know what it is? You don't really feel a lot of movement. It's, it's very, very minuscule. I'm so over that. There we go. On the main screen, pressing up and down doesn't really do anything except for bring up the brightness screen. If you press to the left, that's going to change the mode that it's in. Standard, powerful, powerful plus, and then you have all your SXIQs, eco mode, soft, back to standard. If you press to the right, that's going to allow you to go through the different memory functions. And if you want to set one up, you hit it, you're good to go. Then you go up here to the wattage, press the whatever button, the nipple, adjust that. Now, when you take the battery out, that's going to be saved as memory three. To shut the mod off is one, two, three, four, five, and then press this. Once again, that is the SX Mini SL Class. Let's bring it on the top. Back on top of the SL Class with the 502 sitting on the top of it. This reminds me a lot of certain flashlights, certain detonators. And you would think that this would be light, but I can assure you that it is not. It feels good in the hand. Ergonomics is 100% there. The reason why it is a little bit chubbier over here is just because, well, it's housing a big battery. There's another mod, I wanna say, a ZMA was sort of like this, the old school jammies. There was something that came out that was shaped like this. It's a very, very similar shape and it feels nice. 56 watts on a 0.37. There we go. Wow, really, really nice ramp up time. And anybody that knows Yeehe or SX already knows that their ramp up time is ridiculous, especially if you have another powerful, powerful plus, powerful plus, right there. Well, 
I gotta saturate that up. That is, it's almost like a 40% initial hit. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I can't, I definitely can't do that. What I really like with this mod is the shape as the feel, the fact that you can use a 2700. 21700 you could use, but it's gonna be very, very meticulous as to which 21700 you put in there. Also, if you're having a bit of an issue like I was, get like a file and file that down on the inside where that little cut is. Again, mine could just be defective and it just ripped up my batteries, but I definitely recommend, don't automatically just open this up and try to slam a 21700 in it. It's not going to end well, I promise you. The way that it feels with the 21 or 2700 is gonna be negligible in difference of weight. I mean, the, the batteries are so close that all you're gonna realize is just that it's last on a little bit longer. I would put this up there with the SX Q Mini. That's how much I like this device. The machining is absolutely repulsive up here on the edges. This is all shiny, then you got this, that's all dull. The battery cap on the bottom is very, very rustic and it, really have to grind it on to get it to go on there and even if you put a little bit of VG in the threads that's not really going to help and you can do that because that is lubrication it's just it's not the best lubrication that you could possibly use you could use like Vaseline or something or some type of petroleum jelly I'm sure you have a lot of that laying around the house I know I do one of the best devices that SX has made I'm more of a traditional give me some three button kind of guy and I'm good to go if I was to rate this device on a zero to ten where we're at with the way that this is machined seven i know it seems a little high maybe even 7.5 i would definitely go 7.58 if the machining was a little bit better on this battery cap was a little bit smoother more drippers went more flush because you have a little bit of a gap probably about a quarter millimeter and that's on nine different drippers so all in all it's definitely a nice little piece it's really cool the way that it's shaped all I'm gonna ask is to Yeehee to make sure that you take that apart and you file down that little thing that can be catching on the batteries as they're sliding it in because that it's not safe you know it's not the best possible way that it could have been done and I've kept it real have you James